Aloha, Richard Halverson here, and uh, I'm going to do uh, a challenge a challenge activity from from the textbook. Uh, I'm going to do today. I'm going to do six point thirteen point two. So let me get this out of here. All right. So um, in this in this one, we are uh, writing a function called number of pennies that returns a total number of pennies given a number of dollars and optionally a number of pennies. Optionally, okay. So uh, we're supposed to, if you look down here, we're supposed to write this function. And it can either input uh, the, uh, oh, it can either just input a number of dollars uh, or you can optionally input. Um, works. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, so the first time we execute this number of pennies uh, problem, we're going to uh, execute it with um, at passing two arguments. Uh, and the first one is going to translate to do is dollars. And so we multiply that by 100. And then we, we would add if there's a second one. Um, and, and the first one, we're only going to pass it up one parameter. And uh, so then so then we would want the um, the second parameter to default to zero, zero pennies. So we're only we're only asking for the number of pennies in a certain number of dollars. <clears throat> so how do we do that? Let's move up. Let's go up here and find out about. Oh, it does it this way. Okay, so we just do the second parameter can. Uh, that's the default, right? Uh, mixing arguments and default parameter values. Uh, what's default? Just to make sure I know what's going on. Default parameter values. Ah, okay. There's the. Yeah, just like this. Okay. So, all right. <coughs> all right. So, um, so I'm just gonna um. Pull this up and copy this. Copy, paste, paste. And uh, so I'm going to say uh, my solution goes here. That's nice. I'm going to do, uh, oh, it's going to be, this is going to be the function. Copy. I can get rid of this. Paste. Oh, it's got to be def. I'm defining a function and it's going to have a, um, a dollars, dollars, comma, uh, pennies, oh, it's dollars, comma, pennies equals zero. Yeah. Okay. Let's see that. That would be it, right? Um, so let's, let's test this. Um, print. Um, dollars, pennies. Okay, I'm just going to see if that see what that looks like. And uh, so I would go. Uh, let's run this. Run test test dot py and oh, oh I gotta save it. Silly save. That's the last time I use this. I mean, uh, control C. And let me just run it again. And it's waiting for uh, two inputs, I, I assume. Yeah, let's let's uh, put these two inputs in here. Five, six, five, space, six. Run it again. Let's do this right. Five, enter six, enter, ah, five, six, nine. Oh, because that one wasn't entered. Well, anyway, uh, so all right, so so, so I'm not going to print those. Uh, uh, I'm going to um. Let's try it again. Oh, I oh I know what I was supposed to do. Let's run this again. Oh, what's the none for? Huh. 
wonder why it's written none. Well, that's weird because it's printing three things. Yeah, let me run this again. Okay, five, enter, six, enter, four, enter. Oops, oops, oops. Five, five, four. Run this again, five, enter, six, enter, or enter. Uh, um, I wonder why it's printing none here. Yeah, I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm gonna um, I'm going to say uh, return. Maybe it's because I'm not returning. Return um, a dollars times 100 plus pennies. Okay. Um, I wonder if this is right. Okay, let me, let me just run this and see what happens. Did I save it? Oh, no, I didn't save it, did I? Uh, five, enter, six, enter, there we go. Four, enter. There we go. Okay. Well, I guess uh, you have all you need to know. I guess you have you have all you need here to uh, to be able to uh, get this one right. All right. Thanks for watching.